Hello, my crafty friends. I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. Please take a moment to browse my crafty videos and tutorials, and hopefully you'll also subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I have a design team craft haul from Scrap Diva Designs featuring her September release, which is all about spectacular high Halloween dies. I have fun dies to share with you and also some projects. But before we begin, I want to encourage you to visit scrapdivadesigns.com. She has a wonderful site. Please feel free to use my coupon code Robin10 for a 10% discount upon checkout. I'll also include my affiliate link in the description box below. This adds no additional charge to you. However, when you make a purchase, I will be compensated a small amount, which helps to support my channel. Also, please be sure to visit Scrap Diva Designs on Instagram, Facebook, as well as TikTok. And if you need additional inspiration, type in hashtag Scrap Diva Designs on YouTube. So let's get started. The first die that we're going to review is called the Little Spooky Halloween Shaker Plate. I love this die because it includes spiders and dragonflies. It also has bats, skulls, and ghosts. I have cut out a few of the shaker bits here. We've got the bats, we have the skulls the dragonflies, the ghosts, as well as the spiders. I've cut them out in all different colors. Now, one other thing that I do is that I have cut all of them in different colors using scraps of paper. Now, I have separated them. That way, when I go to make a custom shaker mix, I can simply add in the colors that I want. So here we have the ghosts in pink. We've got pink skulls, pink bats, purple spiders, purple dragonflies, we've got orange bats, skulls, and ghosts also in orange, and we have more spiders and dragonflies in green, and then I've cut out a bunch of these shaker bits in silver and in black glitter. So I like to keep them separated like this, it just makes it much easier to create custom mixes. Next, we have the Halloween words number four. And there are nine different sentiments and shadow layers. I have cut them out in a variety of colors. So we've got pink, orange, green, and purple. And I've put them all against a black glitter background. Let me show you the words here. So we have broom, parking. We have Hocus Pocus, we have Spooky Vibes, we have Spooktacular, Trick or Treat, and Hey Boo. Now for some of these longer sentiments you can easily cut them right in half and you can layer them as necessary. Next, we have the Witch Broom Shakers. This is really fun. There are two different types of shaker brooms that you can make, and I have an example here. I have actually created several of these, but I've already used them on projects, but I did save this one as an example. So this is an example of the wider base. This fans out. The other one is more narrow, and I'll show you that in a different project. Next is the Spider Bow 2. And this is a double layer bow and it has this spider outline in the back and also a little spider. And here are two examples. So this first example, we've got the larger bow here in a black and white spider web. We've got the smaller bow in orange. I've embellished this with a cabochon from my stash and then this little glitter spider. And then you can see the 
beautiful spider web in the back and then the actual bow tie in the back. So that's one. And then this is done in the purples and greens. Next we have the mini ghost tag. And if you remember last year, she came out with a ghost mini album, and this is based on the same silhouette. So we've got one that's done in purple, and this is a layered tag. So we have one layer here, which I have in the glitter, and then in this purplish pink color. And the sentiment is from my stash, but I've embellished this with this cute little bow, the eyes and the little hands and the mouth come with this as well. And here is the orange tag. Isn't that cute? Next, we have the Spider Web Memory Dex Shaker. And you have this spider web layer. You have the layer that adds the frame and the foam. And then you have the base layer. You also receive the spiders here, and here is an example of one of the memory decks cards that I've made. I've done this in a fun purpley pastel color. Here's one of the sentiments that I just showed you, and this is a perfect example. I've cut this in half. It says, hey boo. We've got this adorable little ghost here. This is from the August release. I'm not certain of the name, but I will include it in the description box below. And then here we have this little spider in black litter with a little purple eyes. As you can see, we've got the cute little shaker bits. The next die is the Halloween pocket tag. And you have the piece to cut out the pocket. You have a double layered coffin tag, a spider. And then you have the sentiment trick or treat, which also has a shadow layer. So here's my first example. This is the trick-or-treat sentiment. I've done that in an orange glittery paper. We've got this little crow on top of a pumpkin, a little spider here, and here is the layered coffin tag, and you can see the little spider. And this is the second example. Now I have also used more of the Halloween sentiments here. This says broom parking. This is also an example of the second shaker broom that you get that I showed you previously. This is the narrow version and you can see the little seed beads here in the bottom. I've got a little witch's hat here. And then I have a tag. It says the witch is in. But these are really fun. They're also very versatile. You can use these all year round. You can just substitute the coffin tag and make a small tag of your own to include inside. This would also be great for holding gift cards. Next, we have the Spiderweb mini album. And this has three layers, the base, this stitched edge as well as the spider web shape and also spiders and I did not make a mini album but I did make this really fun shaker card next we have the voodoo doll mini album You get the outside edge, you have this base edge, and then the actual voodoo doll. This is so cute, and there's also a heart inside. This is the card that I've made with this. This is so much fun. Now, I actually made an easel card. Now, I have a tutorial that shows you how to make this. Next, we have the Halloween mini album. Now, I made a card with this. I think this is so fun. And I've used extra thick foam to pop up the letters to spell Halloween. Next, we have the Ghost Stamp and Die Set. Now, 
Please pardon the dark images here. I accidentally stamped the wrong side of the stamp here. That's why it's black. However, these stamp out very clear. This stamp and die set has 13 stamps and dies. They're so cute. I did cut out several of them here. We've got this cute little bat. We have a guy ghost. We have a girl ghost. We have these two little babies here and several sentiments. I think you're amazing. Happy Halloween. I bet you don't know. You're fabulous. And also this cute little spider web. But these are so cute and versatile and I've used them on a few projects which I will show you in my next video. The last two dies that I have in the set are the Witch Hat Box. This is so fun and I can't wait to show you the tutorial that I've created. But This creates a 3D Witch Hat Box and it's really simple to put together. Uh, Scrap Diva Design's design team have created some beautiful examples. Also, we have this Witch Shoe Jelly Bag. Now this is a pretty substantial die. I love that you have these adorable little silhouettes of the witch's boot. You also have the witch's boot tag as well as a shadow layer. Again, these are adorable. I can't wait to show you the projects that I've made with them. This concludes my review of the Scrap Diva Design September release featuring her spooktacular Halloween dies. Please be sure to visit my channel to see the fun projects that I've created with them. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and happy Halloween.